हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लासेज बाय विजय कुमार सेठी क्लास इलेवंथ केमिस्ट्री वी विल डिस्कसिंग यूनिट टेन द एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑक्साइड्स हाइड्रोक्साइड्स हेलाइड्स एंड साल्ट ऑफ ऑक्जो एसिड्स ऑफ एल्कली मेटल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑक्साइड्स एंड हाइड्रोक्साइड्स ऑफ एल्कली मेटल्स ऑन कंबशन इन एक्सेस ऑफ एयर लिथियम फॉर्म्स मेनली द ऑक्साइड Li2O lithium oxide plus some peroxide Li2O2 sodium forms the peroxide Na2O2 and some superoxide NaO2 while potassium rubidium and cesium form the superoxides of formula MO2 under appropriate conditions pure compounds that is monoxide peroxide and superoxide may be prepared the increasing stability of the peroxide or superoxide as the size of the metal ion increases is due to the stabilization of large anions by larger cations through lattice energy effects as per this effects large anion form the stable compound with larger cation and smaller anion form the stable compound with smaller cation so we can say that is potassium rubidium and cesium form the stable superoxides these oxides are easily hydrolyzed by water to form the hydroxides equations can be written like this monoxide when react with the water it will form hydroxide when peroxide react with the water it form hydroxide as well as hydrogen peroxide h2o2 when superoxide react with the water it will form hydroxide along with hydrogen peroxide and oxygen gas the oxides and uh, oxides and peroxides are colorless when pure but the superoxides are yellow or orange in color the superoxides are also paramagnetic because of one unpaired electron in pi anti bonding 2p molecular orbital sodium peroxide is widely used as an oxidizing agent in inorganic chemistry the hydroxides which are obtained by the reaction of the oxides with water which we already discussed are all white crystalline solids the alkali metal hydroxides are the strongest of all bases and dissolve freely in water with evolution of much heat on account of intense hydration now come to halides of alkali metals the alkali metal halides having general formula mx where x may be f c l b r or i are all high melting colorless crystalline solids they can be prepared by the reaction of the appropriate oxide hydroxide or carbonate with aqueous hydrohalic acid for example if you want to prepare sodium chloride then when sodium oxide react with hydrochloric acid you will get sodium chloride or when naoh react with hcl again you will get nacl when na2co3 react with hcl again we will get nacl all of these halides have high negative enthalpy of formation the standard enthalpy of formation values for fluorides become less negative as we go down the group while the reverse is true for standard enthalpy of formation for chlorides bromides and iodides for a given metal the standard enthalpy of formation always becomes less negative from fluoride to iodide so we can say for metal fluoride the standard enthalpy of formation is most negative the melting and boiling points always follow the trend that is metal fluorides have the highest melting point and boiling point while metal iodides have the lowest melting and boiling point all these halides are soluble in water the low solubility of lif lithium chloride in water is due to its high lattice enthalpy 
whereas the low solubility of cgm iodide is due to smaller hydration enthalpy of its two ions okay actually in case of lithium fluoride lithium ion and fluoride ion both are smaller in size so lattice enthalpy is very high in case of cgm and cgm iodide cgm and cgm ion and iodide ion both are larger in size so they are they have the smaller hydration enthalpy other halides of lithium are soluble in ethanol acetone and ethyl acetate because of some covalent characters due to the fajan's rule lithium chloride is soluble in pyridine also now come to salts of oxo acids first of all what are oxo acids oxo acids are those in which the acidic proton is on a hydroxyl group with an oxo group attached to the same atom for example carbonic acid or sulfuric acid carbonic acid is h2co3 if we see the formula this is oxo group okay and this is acidic proton and this acidic proton is a part of this hydroxyl group in the same way this is acidic proton this is part of this hydroxyl group the same way h2so4 okay you can say this is oxo group and this is acidic proton part of oh group this is acidic proton part of oh group so these are examples of oxo acids the alkali metals form salts with all the oxo acids they are generally soluble in water and thermally stable they are carbonates that is m2co3 where m is a alkali metal and in most cases the hydrogen carbonates mhco3 also are highly stable to heat as the electropositive character increases down the group the stability of the carbonates and hydrogen carbonates increases in this way we can say lithium carbonate is least stable lithium carbonate is not so stable to heat now again why lithium being very small in size polarizes a large carbonate ion leading to the formation of more stable lithium oxide and carbon dioxide this reaction can be represented like this li2co3 on heating it will give lithium oxide and carbon dioxide its hydrogen carbonate that is lithium hydrogen carbonate does not exist as a solid thank you subscribe my channel to get next video from this sector